Hi, this is Rick Hansen on Being Patient, the 23rd practice in my book, Just One Thing. It's fine to want things to move along in a timely way, but you've probably noticed that some of the time they don't work like that. Then it's natural to get impatient, but that's not good for us or for others. For us, it stimulates the stress machinery in the body, which has long-term negative um, effects on both mind and body. And second, it stresses others. You know what it's like to feel like you're on the receiving end of someone else's impatience. So here are a few suggestions from my book about how to become more patient. One is to really enjoy the situation that you're in as best you can. I mean, it is what it is, but look around and see if you can experience a sense of leisure, given that you've got to wait anyway. Second, see if you can calm down your body. Uh, a great way to do that is through several long exhalations, which will activate the parasympathetic nervous system. And third and last, see if you can have more acceptance for the way things are. They are what they are. Most of it's out of our control. As the traditional saying has it, you can't push the river. So, may you be patient.